these are new Sharpies to me. They are Sharpie Mystic Gems. There's like a purple, pink, looks like those are the only colors. Oh, there also looks like there's a green. I haven't seen those before. Ooh, I love these rainbow pens. They have some gel pens as well. I just love them, they're so beautiful. Oh, they have some crazy art scented crayons. I'm kind of tempted to get those. I feel like I'm finding all sorts of different types of crayons. Wow, these are really heavy. What makes these special? No wrap, no mess, break resistant. They're Bic. I'm gonna try this. It's really, really heavy. And they look like they're a bit longer than standard crayons. Like if you compare them to these, they're a lot longer. I might even get two packs of them. I might as well get some of these scented crayons now. And then this says super tip splashable bold markers. Hmm. That's really cool. So many new markers. I like the pattern on these. They're pretty. There's a card holder to match. And it looks like they have them in different colors too. That's really pretty. I think these are new too. Little crowns and earrings, little clip on earrings. I probably would have picked that one or that one. I haven't seen these before. Wire neck connectors. This is new to me too. It is a glue gun pad. It's actually pretty heavy. That's pretty neat. They have it in blue, pink. I think those are the colors, blue and pink. These are so pretty. I love the little diamond on top. I did a DIY with these so many years ago and I couldn't find any. So it's nice that they're actually a lot of them for sale now. These are new to me too. They are like little buckets and they have the hooks on the side. But the nice thing is that they have a lid with a handle. I like that. I don't need any right now, but I like it. And it looks like they have it in three colors, navy, black, and gray. I haven't seen these before. It's like a different size. What are they calling them? They're just like little candle holders, but they're a much smaller size. I like them. I have a bunch of, I don't see, oh, I have a lot of these. I wonder if maybe I should get some of these to make like shorter little DIYs. This is really cute too. I just saw this four pack too. That is a really great deal. I'm tempted to get one of these, but all I can think about is how bad they hurt when you put them in. I think this shade of green is really pretty, especially with the gray. Really pretty. These are all new products for me. I haven't seen this brand before, Simple Made. They have sink strainers, sink caddies, dispensing brush, and then also a bottle brush. I haven't seen these before, Simple Kitchen Mini Mitt. They're really nice quality. They have like a grip on the inside of them. I'm gonna get two of them for our kitchen. I think maybe this style or maybe, I think this one's fun. I think I could turn this into a fun like learning game for my kids. So I think I'm gonna get one of each so that two students can play at the same time. These would be great sensory toys for my students. So there's that one, and this one, this one. Oh my gosh, I think there are several different ones. Those are so cool. I love these star plates. Gold and silver and then some paper plates as well. I just got back from Dollar Tree and I found some great stuff, some new items, and I would like to share them with you. So the first thing I want to share with you are some outdoor fishing games. I found this in the summer section and I'm really excited about this because I want to use it in my classroom. I actually got two of them and the only difference I think is that one has a pink fishing hook and then the other or no fishing pole. One has a pink fishing pole and the other one has a blue one. But I thought it could be fun to use it as like an educational game where maybe I use dry erase marker or something and put like letters on this or small words. And then I'll have to say a word and the kids will have to try to catch it with the hook. Or I mean with the fishing pole. I think that could be really fun. I'm always looking for new games like this to do with my kids. So I was really excited to see those. I also bought some of these new oven mitts. They are from the brand Simple Kitchen. 
and they're calling it a mini mitt. There were so many different patterns. They were all really nice. I decided on this one just because I thought that the pattern was fun. And then you just put your hand in like this and you can grab things like that. I really like this. There's almost like a, like a silicone right here. I have some oven mitts. I'm not sure where I got them, but they're not, they are not good at all. Whenever we go to grab things, like we kind of have to do it quickly because, or things out of the oven, we have to do it quickly because the heat does get through it pretty fast. And I just don't prefer them. So I really like this. It's like a nice small size and just like not bulky. So they had several different styles of it. If you hear anything, Pip is rolling around on her back, scratching her back. I also got some of these little candle holders. I like them. I think they're really interesting. I think you could probably use it either way, like this or like this. It has a spot right here that you can put like a taller candle. I don't know what those candles are called. Um, what are they called? A candlestick maybe so you could put that in this but I really like the smaller size because I do have candle holders but they're a lot taller I like to use them for DIYs just to give like a little height to something and this this is actually pretty heavy glass and it's really clear too so I thought these were fun and I haven't seen them before so I bought a few of them these next finds are probably some of my favorite things that I found at Dollar Tree in a long time they are called squishy toys and they are like the best like fidget type things that I found at Dollar Tree. It's nice to have these in the classroom, like in a calming corner. Right now I'm making a calming corner in my room um, with some of my mom's stuff and just some plushies and things like that. But these are great to have, you know, just for the kids to have something to squeeze to relax. Even when they're working, if they're focused, I let them have something like this. So this is the first one. It's blue and white, but look at how squishy it is. It's so cool. I found this in the summer section as well. I'm gonna save my favorite one for last. Pip is rolling around right now on the couch. She's so funny. This is the next one. It's like orange and red and white. How squishy. This one has like tiny little squishy beads in it. Look at that. Little tiny squishy beads in like rainbow colors. They are going to love these. This one is similar, but it has spikes. They are, seriously, they are going to love these. I might even go back and buy some more to put in my prize box. I love them. And my favorite one is this one. This is the one that caught my eye. Isn't that so cool? It just has like little tiny balls in it. The rest of them are like filled with the liquid. This one actually just has only the balls in it with no liquid, maybe. It's probably fine. Yeah, because if it, if it was leaking, it would be like all over the bag. So I like this one just because I like all the different colors. So those were my favorite finds, but now I'm going to share with you a couple more things. And one of them, I'm going to try to do like a review with you as I'm filming. I found some of these Bic Kids Long Lasting Coloring Crayons, and it says no wrap equals no mess and break resistant so they're actually pretty tall i also got a different kind of crayon i'll show you that is the difference they're pretty tall i just wanted to open them and show you guys because i've never seen this crayon at dollar tree and this is actually a pretty heavy box so it said that they have no wrapper on them wow that is cool they're definitely taller than a regular crayon and they're kind of, actually they have a little bit of a hollow part right there. This is pretty cool. I got two packs of them. I do feel like they're kind of fragile. So it might be something where like the wrapper just helps a little bit with it, but I got two packs of them. So on the back, it says they have markers, coloring pencils, and a combo pack, but not at Dollar Tree. And the last thing I want to share with you are these Crazy Art scented crayons. I thought it could be fun just to take a couple minutes here and do like a test to see how they are, how they smell. I found a piece of paper that I'm going to use to test these crayons because I really couldn't smell them. So this first one is grape. I can't really smell it. That's a bummer. Let's see what else do they have. Strawberry. Barely. 
that's really a bummer. I, when they're all together, I feel like I can smell something. Apple, the green is apple. I'm not even gonna try anymore. Unfortunately, I can't smell anything. Um, I feel like I smell something when they're all together. Like, how can you sell it though with it saying it smells like something? It doesn't smell like anything. This is supposed to be banana. No, you can't smell anything with these. That is false advertising, honestly. It's supposed to smell like orange. Am I doing it wrong? Let's try the orange. No, you can't smell anything. So if you're looking to buy crayons that are scented, these don't smell like anything. The Crazy Art crayons smell like absolutely nothing. So um, maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know, but this was a big disappointment. That's it for today's Dollar Tree Shop With Me and Haul video. Thank you so much for joining me while I shopped at Dollar Tree again. And I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the new finds that I saw. In the comments, let me know what kind of things you saw that were brand new. Let me know what products you were most interested in. If you found anything interesting at Dollar Tree and you have a picture of it, please share that picture with me on Facebook at Thrifted Living or on Instagram at Thrifted Living YouTube. I would love to share pictures of what you guys are finding in my videos. I hope to be able to share them at the end of the video. So if you'd like to show what you have found and you'd like that picture to be included in my videos, please make sure you share those pictures with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. She doesn't really give kisses. You like to go shopping with me at Dollar Tree someday? And if you scratch her neck, like this, <laughs> she really likes it. Then if you scratch the other side, <laughs> this ear does not want to go down. It's like always sticking out. Can you put it down? <laughs> Here, put it down. Kind of going down now. There's the tongue sticking out of the side. It's sticking right out here. Do you want to say hi to the video? Hello everyone, my name is Pip. I'm 11 years old and I have no teeth. And Finley's out there trying to get some food. There's that ear sticking out again. The tongue starts just sticking out a little bit and then it starts sliding out more and more and more. And then sometimes if I scratch her chest like this, she'll want me to do it more. She'll try to paw at me. She's too busy seeing Finn. Can you say bye?